What up, you guys? Just uh, coming at you with a quick video. I uh, was bored today. I had really nothing to do. So, uh, hey, why not fix, try to fix an amp? So, uh, what I got here, I got my buddy's Lanzar Opti uh, 500 watt per channel, two channel class AB. It was in a uh, fire, actually. Uh, he had his uh, AC compressor uh, and his Escalade uh, blow up on him. Whole engine bay caught fire, but uh, no one was hurt. He's fine, and he's doing a rebuild. So uh, there's actually two of these. I tested one, and um, did not turn on at all. There was a lot of soot, a lot of damage. This one was no use fixing, so I just took out all the parts, gutted it, salvaged it. This is the uh, engineering version of a sky burial right here. <laughs> so that one we're not using, but however, this one I just repaired and put replaced all. Oops, wrong side. However, this one I repaired and replaced all the MOSFETs. So it was my first time trying an amp repair. And I want to give a huge thank you to Jeff Mouse who was helping me, uh, walking me through the whole uh, testing process to bring this thing back to life. So uh, here's a little bit of that from earlier. Here goes nothing. Alright, first fret is in. Got four frets in there. Uh, that's all we need to separate into five different bakes, two on each toroid. Um, so put in a little current limiting uh, bulb in there. So what we're supposed to see is the bulb light up and then go dim. If it just lights up and just stays bright, that means we still have a short somewhere. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, huh. I'm an idiot. I don't have the fuses in. Duh. Alright, fuses are in. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Yep, there we go. Oh. Come on. Alright. It's dim. Okay, so I think. There's a good chance, you see here, sorry, the bulb is dim. There's a good chance that this is fixable. And oh, yes, we got green. We got a green over here. It's, uh, that's on. No protect. So, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and replace the rest of the board with the IRF Z44s. And uh, hopefully, we'll bring this amp back to life. Feeling like Dr. Frankenstein right now. Alright, uh, before we put in the rest of the frets, I'm going to go and just see if it plays some music. Fingers crossed. Turn it on. Light bulb's on. Why well, be damned? We got, we got music. You hear that? We have very little wattage. So I'm super excited. This amp is repairable. And now it's time to put back all the fets. Just some finishing touches, I'll add some thermal compounds, some thermal grease to the MOSFETs. Alrighty, all the FETs are replaced. Let's go ahead and turn her on. Hoping that there's no other issues. If there is, I'm going to be very, very sad. I may cry. Okay, here we go. On. Got to fix that light bulb. Oh wait, no, I'm an idiot. I forgot to plug in the ground. Around three, two, one. Lights on, and we got music. Now let's crank it up a bit. And 
And there you have it, folks. Back to normal. Wow, it's a life. Turns out it's not quite fixed just yet. With the uh, with the current limiting uh, bulb um, in series into uh, into the power input, it does play. However, there is still somewhere on this board. There is still a short somewhere. Um, so, you know, eventually I'll figure out what's wrong with it, but um, I thought this was a great board to start out with doing an amp repair. It's all through hole components, which are kind of hard to come by. Most of the amps nowadays are surface mount, which is uh, kind of really hard to, uh, um, which is kind of really hard to work with. The bottom line, uh, this amp seems pretty, uh, pretty fixable, so I can't wait to uh, fully fix this. At here, I get some better lighting. Yeah, look at all that soot. Uh, these were behind the passenger seat. So this was behind the the driver, the front driver and passenger seat, facing. I'm gonna say this was facing the bottom, but uh, yeah, these knobs still work. Uh, these RCA still work. Uh, this switch, however, uh, totally, you know, melted. And forget about the remote. That that's history. So, but it's uh, if you look here. But it doesn't look too hard to just replace. Just got to figure out the resistance of that, those potentiometers and whatnot.